Elk Grove Village, northwest of Chicago. Mrs. Susan Crowley recalls a night she'll never forget. It was about midnight on February 8th of 1965, and I was driving down Harmony Lane, which is the street on which we live, and I noticed a very strange object in the sky, and I drove down the street and pulled in the driveway, and I jumped out of the car, and I ran around the side of the house, and uh, it was hovering over the house and it was moving side to side directly over this house. I was so stunned and I ran around back around the house again and I came in the front door to wake up my husband so I could show him. And I, I ran through the house and I looked out the dining room window and I, the object was gone. And I ran in and I got my husband out of bed and uh, I brought him out and we stood here and looked for about a half an hour and the police came out and they took a report but they had no further reports of any such object. I've drawn this object many times since I saw it and it was an oval inside of an oval. It was a very definite shape. Uh, it was about 40 feet long and I say this because the house is about 50 feet long, and it made no noise. It was completely silent, and I could see no visible entries or windows or doors, as we would call it. The only logical explanation that I can come up with is that it was a flying object of some sort uh, that could hover, and such as I've never seen before. Lots of people have suggested that I forget this because of the ridicule it might bring to my husband and my children. But I saw it for so many minutes that I can't deny what I saw. Mrs. Crowley's story is not unusual. The files of the Air Force are filled with similar cases, and reports continue at the rate of about two a day. <laughs>